Today we're going to talk about first declension nouns in Latin, but before we do that, let's look how nouns are used in English. A noun can be used in many different ways in an English sentence, so here are a few listed. It can be the subject of a sentence, the doer of the verb, as in the farmer walks down the street. It can be used for possession. In English we use an apostrophe s, yes, but in Latin this is how we'll render it, so let's get used to seeing it this way. So the house of the farmer is read instead of saying the farmer's house is red, can be used as the indirect object or that which receives the direct object. Here the messenger delivered a letter to the farmer. Here the letter, which is the direct object, is being received by the farmer, the indirect object. It can be the direct object, the rabid dog bit the farmer. Here the farmer is directly receiving the action. It can be the object of a preposition, which just means it can be used in a prepositional phrase. The dog ran away from the farmer. You can use many different prepositions here. In, by, so forth, and so on. And finally, direct address, like, hey farmer, how are you doing? This is used when you're talking directly to someone. Now these different uses of the noun break down into cases in Latin, which will be different noun endings for how a noun is used in a sentence. So you're going to have to memorize the names of these six cases and how they function in the sentence. So the nominative case is used for the subject of a sentence, when the farmer is the doer of the action. The genitive case is used for possession, when the farmer owns something, so the house of the farmer, or in English we'd say the farmer's house. The dative is used for the indirect object, so if I give something to the farmer, if I do something for the farmer. The accusative case is used as the direct object, so if I hit the farmer or praised the farmer. The ablative case will be used for the object of many prepositions we will learn, so if I walked away from the farmer, I'd use the ablative case. And the vocative case is used for if I were talking directly to the farmer in conversation, like, hey farmer, how are your crops? And all of these cases translate to endings in Latin. So if we look here in the singular, that A ending is the nominative, which means the farmer here, Agricola, is the subject of the sentence. The genitive ending, AE, means of the farmer, and so this would be possession, so the house of the farmer, Agricola. If I gave something to the farmer, we would also use that AE ending, so you need to use context to tell the difference between the genitive and the dative. So if I gave a ho to the farmer, I would use agricolae. If I hit the farmer, that would be him as a direct object, and I would use agricolam. If I walked away from the farmer, he is now the object of a preposition, and I'd use agricola with a macron over the a. And if I said, hey farmer, how goes it? I would use agricola, which looks just like the nominative. And of course, you can have multiple farmers so you have the same idea, just endings for the plural, for multiple farmers, as the subject, as possession, the indirect object, the direct object, the object of a preposition, and direct address. So now that you've seen all of these, let's talk about how you put these endings on any given noun. So whenever you see a vocab word, you'll be given two terms. Here we have agricola and agricola, and what you're really given is the nominative singular and the genitive singular. And so the process that you have to do to put the endings on this, the case endings for the first declension, is you always go to the genitive to get the stem, because sometimes a noun will have an irregular nominative. So you go to that genitive to get the stem, you drop off the AE ending, and this gives you your stem for all of your other endings to be added onto. And so here, that stem is agricole. And to this, we add our case endings that we just saw that you need to memorize because these are the same endings that will be added on all first declension nouns in Latin. And they are a, i, i, am, a, i, arum, is, as, is. Note that the nominative and the vocative case are the same, and this will often occur, though you'll see occasions when it won't in different declensions, but for the first declension, they will always be the same. So what you need to do is start memorizing your cases, their uses, and all of these endings.